our final speaker in this session is Professor David Healy, who I'm sure you all, you all know. He's, he's written extensively about various psychiatric drugs and has been particularly instrumental in drawing attention to the side effects of SSRIs. Actually, the first thing that I want to do is uh, to thank Millie uh, for having convened this meeting and for having asked me to come and talk. Um, I think this is the kind of meeting that should be happening within in medicine, but isn't. Uh, it's awfully interesting that it takes a person who isn't actually a doctor to run a meeting like this. You have to wonder what medicines come to when we don't run meetings uh, about what the problems might be of the treatments we give. And uh, the ultimate theme that I'll end up with is just that point. What has medicine come to? In the meantime, just if you were in the same shoes as Claire or Millie, and you had a wife or a husband or a child who had been put on a drug and things had gone wrong on the drug, chances are if you'd gone to the FDA or if you'd gone to uh, your, uh, your kind of local doctor or prof of medicine or prof of whatever, you'd be faced with just the same response, which is, they're there. Um, we're awfully sorry this has happened to you. This really sounds truly awful, but unfortunately what's happened to you is just a case report. It's an anecdote. The science looks the other way. We've put all the trials together and there isn't any signal from the trials that the drug could be causing the problem that you think has caused your wife or your husband or your child. That's what happened when people first reported Prozac causing problems. This led to hearings within the FDA when a string of people actually presented what had, uh, uh, sort of the things that had actually gone wrong for them, or their husbands, or their wives, or their children. They actually found themselves faced with the FDA saying, they're there, but actually the science points the opposite way. So, uh, I should be using this. <clears throat> and here's the science. This is from the BMJ, 1991. 14 years before we get around to uh, actually recognizing that this group of drugs could be causing problems. This is the science. These are all the clinical trials put out by the pharmaceutical company that made Prozac. And there's the data there. And the data gives rise to this. It shows that there is an increased risk on Prozac that you will go on to a suicidal act. 